Hi, Ganesh back here. So today I'm going to share my life a story because uh, people who've been watching my video, people who follow me, I want them to get uh, get to know me one step closer. So I'm a Kannadiga. I born in Karnataka. So I born on 1991 September 18 in a place called Tinasipur. It's a smaller town uh, next to Mysore. So uh, I was born as a first kid to my uh, parents and my ma father was a daily wage worker and my mother was a uh, housemaid when I was born and we, uh, the family was really huge, we were nine people in the family including my grandparents and uh, uncle and aunties. The family was really happy and I had a very good childhood uh, there but uh, age of, uh, I, when I was 11 my father uh, decided to send me to uh, Medicare uh, for a better uh, studies or better uh, education. So I moved there with, I lived there with my uncle and aunt and the place was really good. The people are very sweet and I experienced a very good days there. I spent a lot, lot of good time over there. But age of 12, when I was in a class 10, unfortunately, I lost my father. And my father was the only source of income to my family. So after his uh, loss, we became uh, very much in trouble. Uh, we were facing a lot of financial crisis. But still, my mother was there behind me. She supported me a lot for my study. She told me, uh, you just keep what you're doing. I will take care of the family. Also, uh, my grandmother, who was very supportive, my father's mother, she was a government employee, retired employee, and she was having a, a pension, which is only 3K. But 3K was uh, a lot of money during those years. And uh, she helped me a lot to study. And I studied till uh, BA. I was when I'm studying BA. Unfortunately, um, I lost my grandma as well. So after that, my family was really, really struggling to survive. But I couldn't see that happening in front of me. So I, I step up myself. I took the ownership, and I had to stop my studies to take care of uh, everything. So I took a ownership. I work with my mother. I work in a lot of small jobs because I was looking too younger, and I was looking very. Uh, skinny guy during those years so I couldn't get a better job also I don't have a strong uh, educational background I was working in a mobile shop and I was working in a uh, sim card promotions during uh, 2008 to 2010 and after that I moved to Mysore again I was worked there in uh, many different places and uh, 2013 I was uh, realized this is not gonna work and uh, this is not enough for me or this is not enough to take care of my family or give a better life to them or myself so I was looking for a better opportunities. Then um, my friends are suggested to move on Bangalore. And uh, at the age of, uh, sorry, at uh, 2013, January 2nd, after New Year, I reached to Bangalore. And uh, trust me, I had only 70 rupees in my pocket. I had no one in Bangalore and I had nowhere to go. But I reached a forum mall near the Kormangla. I found a job near to there. It was a burger station, burger restaurant. So I worked there uh, three months. I worked there in a burger station as a crew member. I make a lot of burgers every day. And also I was uh, doing a home delivery. Uh, but later the place was shut down and I was uh, searching for more jobs. Then I found a, a, a guy from uh, Lebanon. He was from Middle East. Uh, he was very good. He was very sweet. So he was uh, he offered me a job as a, a waiter actually uh, in a, in Bangalore. But the person was really good and he's offered me so much good salary. What I was getting before three times more. And after reaching Bangalore, uh, my first salary was really good and I was really happy. During those years, it was really big amount. So I worked there. After that, I keep on looking for better opportunity. Uh, Chef Ali, the person who bring me into this uh, hospitality, the person had to leave because of his uh, family problem. He left to back to uh, Lebanon. So after his, uh, after he left in his absence, I, I couldn't work in that place uh, because I had no future there. I had to, I start feeling insecure. So. I start look, looking for more jobs, no more opportunity. Then I end up uh, getting a job in a uh, Indra Nagar, uh, Indra, Indra, Indra Nagar, and it was a very good pub. It was a micro brewery. We are serving a fresh alcohol beer, and I worked there uh, three years. It was really, really amazing to work, and it was awesome to work there because it, it had a six floors and amazing dance floor as well. And we, I team feel like I'm working. The work was hard. We are working hard, but. The people and the environment, what was there, it makes me feel like uh, we are just having fun. We are going for vacation each and every day. Uh, it was really good over there. 
so uh, sooner i realized again this job was not enough for me because i was getting good salary also i was looking for something else that i could uh, do for better future so also i started to i uh, thinking to start a st- uh, taxi business i bought some uh, car but uh, i failed again in it in this one but i was looking for more opportunity and i try i create i make my passport because uh, some of my friends also i know i would i could go to abroad i could get a better job in cruise line or hospitality because uh, by the time i was really experienced in hospitality i had a good enough knowledge that i could uh, go for a better position in hospitality but later uh, when i was looking for the job at 2016 uh, i came work it was another normal day at the pub so i came Uh, i was a floor supervisor by the time and our my job is to just uh, stand in one place and uh, look into the floor look at the guests look at the people who oh, are they having a good time are they having any issues are they happy with the service so i need to check the quality of service basically with the guest so by doing that i noticed a guy uh, with a very cool person he was with the swagger he was sitting and he was a foreigner he was sitting and watching the cricket match it was new zealand and australia it was 2020 world cup it was going on 2060 and he was enjoying i saw he's having a chilled beer and he have he had one pen also had one paper and i was i've been talking a lot guest during those year during those uh, time actually because my intention was to get a better job i wanted to go abroad and make money and come back in india and make a uh, own business or do own my things so that was uh, my intention i had no goals i had no purpose in life other than making money so i went the person introduce myself and i had a lot of uh, chat with him the conversation went really good and we are having very good fun there but later i throw my question at him i was asking i just looking for a job so if you could get me a job uh, it will be good for me it will be helpful for me that i can change my life forever so I, he asked me for what you want to leave india for what you have to go uh, i just uh, answered very uh, short because i just wanted to get money i wanted to do my own business so uh, that day that moment when i talked to that person trust me it changed everything from that day because he made me realize money is not important uh, living life without a purpose living life without any goal it is not good enough for uh, anyone and he made me realize he advised me like a brother and he also offered me to uh, meet him at the lila palace hotel at the next day morning a uh, short 10 o'clock uh, it was sorry 9 o'clock because he told me he gonna uh, attend he gonna um, get, take an interview for me for his uh, the job which he going to offer me so uh, next morning i visit the place at shop uh, 8:40 i visit visit because i wanted myself to be presentable and wanted to be on time before him but by the time i reach i saw he's already waiting for me at the lobby and i went i visit him then he was asking about uh, trading about asking about stock market do you have any uh, knowledge about what is stock market and how the price is moving or anything but honestly i had no experience but i do know how the stock market works i know uh, what is stock market because i had uh, read a lot articles also about the warren buffett stories so that helped me to face his questions and uh, he was shocked because he was uh, he was assuming he was thinking about me but i maybe not uh, have enough knowledge about uh, investments or uh, stock market so he told me that uh, why don't you work with me as a freelancer like it's a freelancer stuff but uh, we going to create together we going to be create uh, something greater for your life and greater for his life as well uh, then we came to blue leo then he show me a way to blue leo and then he try me as a day trader and i invest also for uh, a professional day trader and uh, he assigned someone from a uh, uh, netherlands so john his name sorry i forgot to mention his name is uh, his name is john pitman is one of my role model also he is my mentor and uh, he's is more than anything he's like my brother so john uh, introduced to me a person is called hain and he was a forex trader and uh, he's he doing really well at uh, uh, netherlands so he teach me everything he teach me how to trade uh, technical analysis especially he helped me a lot to learn trading also john guide me more than hain john guide me everything not only trading about uh, everything about mindset about trading psychology everything so from there i start transforming myself into something else and uh, i become myself as a professional trader and i can now i can able to uh, trade able to teach other people how to trade and uh, this is how i came this place after i came here really i can see myself a uh, very better place right now because uh, i used to work 
10 uh, 10 to 12 hours uh, six days in a week and sometimes it is more than that but now i'm working uh, hardly six to eight hours in a day and it's only five days in a week and i'm having a lot of uh, freedom a lot of uh, i have a lot of time and also i'm getting financial freedom at anger age which is really happy about so this is my story and today i'm in front of you guys and if you feel anything you want to ask me about something please uh, let me know in the comment section and now subscribe the channel and uh, like the video or drop us a comment and thank you for watching have a good day